realize that if I if I continue to use drugs, if I continue to go down this road, like I'll never be a dad, I'll never make music, I'll never be anything I wanted to be in life. But uh, like I said, like I was, I um, picked up the pieces and was, I went and was recording music and I got like um, everybody that was kind of, you know, they didn't know where they were going to be at because my little brother's house got raided. There was two different apartments that got raided at the time. So I went and put everybody at my girlfriend's house up in Orchard Mesa, put the studio in the room and I'm going to get to the music. Let's get back to the music. And at this point you still have, you have Echo? Chico, Chico and me. G? No, Baby G's baby gone. California. California. Yep. Okay. Gone during that time. Yeah. Right. In the middle of that, he went to California during that time. Yeah. And so we dropped Guilty by Association 2. Uh, and it was called uh, Musical Rehab. Okay. That was the whole sense of it, too. was like, bro, I know everybody's dealing with this. But if you're going to be on this label, if you're going to do this, you're not going to be doing this. I don't care if you smoke weed, all the weed you want. Weeds from the earth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, weeds from the earth, you know what I mean? It's it's wonderful. I just can't handle it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Some people can, I can't. You know right. what I mean? You can smoke all the weed you want, no chemicals, no powders, chill. All you can give you a spot to kick it at. We can make merch. I'm going to be on pass. I need you to help keep the house clean. Keep, start doing it. Start sobering up. Start looking for a job. Like, I, I literally got, like, everybody sober again. And uh, when I got out... We started doing shows again. We brought, I think we brought Zigzag. Mm -hmm. We brought Zigzag from uh, NB Riders. We brought him. We did Carol Rodriguez again. 2016. Mm -hmm. 2016, 17. And then right right, right about then, uh, I I fell off again. Bro, like I, I first started drinking. I got off parole. I started drinking. The same day I started drinking, I started using meth again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was... That's why I don't drink. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I, I can't. You know what I mean? I, I understand. I know in my heart of hearts, like, what it does to me. Right. It doesn't like, make you make I, bro, right? And that's like it with anything. If, if you can handle nothing in excess, somebody preaches. You know what I mean? Nothing in excess. Sugar, pop, anything, nothing in excess. Right. But I can't handle anything like that. Like, if I do, if I drink alcohol, I will do lines. If I, if I do a line, I want a pistol and a pound of meth. Mm -hmm. That's not a lie. Like right. I, 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 I really think it's. I think it's okay, and 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 I, and I won't condone it anymore. And I don't like that darkness in me. So, mm -hmm. so I don't do it. So, that's what it was. Like um, I proceeded to get people sober, and then proceeded to give them drugs back. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the worst. You know, what I mean? the worst, the worst feeling to be like. The big homie, the the person that was pushing them to to change and do better, and then the person was like, "Here, let's let's just play with it a little bit more. It's it's okay to be this, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like." And I guess that's like even like what changed me to where where like I'm ironclad, like I'm tough love. Like if if you won't help yourself, I can't help you. I mean, because I had to help myself from nothing, from nothing. I got out. I got out a year ago with a bag of clothes. I promise you. A year ago. Uh, well, in December. December 21st, I got out into, sober, into a sober living house. Amos Sober Living House. It saved my life pretty much. You know what I mean? Like, I got out. I wrote them. And I had caught a case on parole. At the tail end of my parole, I caught a stupid ass F5. And I, and I got into sober living. And I started working. Sobered up. Started working, did so, so good, and was clean and sober. Like I said, for like I said, that was like a year ago. I was clean and sober for, I've been sober for six months, so I was only clean and sober for about six months, and I fucked up for three days. About six months ago, I fucked up for three days, but I caught myself again. Like, I'll never stop, but like, I, I, I'm doing good. Like, I'm not going to say I won't mess up, but I don't want to. Like, my lady now, she doesn't She doesn't use. She's been cleaning sober for five years. You know what I mean? We all came from the same game, from mm -hmm. the same place. You know what I mean? And that's meth's a real big epidemic here. You know. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. knows. You know, fentanyl. People are dying like crazy, man. Like, yeah. you don't know what's in it. You know, people are dying like crazy. Like, 
it's it just makes no sense to me and and, and, and like the fake enlightenment is what I don't agree with. You know what I mean? You're on top of the world where you're walking down the street with a backpack. You know what I mean? Like I said, like I got out with a backpack, with like, with the same backpack full of clothes that my mom had of mine. And I went into Sober Living House and it just, it per, it saved me. It saved everything I have, everything I have. And, and realized that if I, if I continue to use drugs, if I continue to go down this road, like I'll never be a dad. I'll never make music. I'll never be anything I wanted to be in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've, I've never put out my album because I never go long enough with the stretch long enough to get the songs done. Right. I can't stop getting locked up.